What's up YouTube? This is Headphones and Stuff coming at you with another video. This one being on the GLX 150-7 um G-Lide watch. Um let's just start off with the main color of it. The main color is um kind of a I want to say peach. It's not quite white. Um Yeah, not quite white. Let's go through some of your basic modes. You have your Tide, your World Time, your Stopwatch, your Timer, your Alarm, and just your standard hour time. Um, that would be in, I believe, both um, military and just like standard time. Um, up top would be um, your date, Sunday, September the excuse me, October the 6th, um, labeled with adjust, mode, forward, reverse, tide, graph, g-glide, let's take a look at right here, this watch right here is a Casio China, unlike some that are Casio Japan, most of the newer ones are Casio China, um, take a little quick look at the back play here, just like any other G-Shock, g Shock resist, um, your model, which is the 3295, and your some information about where it's made and what it's made out of, and your GLX 150. Um, here are your buttons here. If you're not watching this in 1080p, make sure to um, so you can get see everything in its um, full quality. The buttons here are basically brown um, with little ridges on them. This is a water resistant watch, just like any other G Shock. Right here it says G Shock. Um, this is a matte finish, not a glossy finish. So, um, especially in this white kind of color, not quite white, but whatever color, kind of color you would consider it, um, it's going to get really easily dirty. So, um, this is, I have honestly, I've only ever worn this. I don't even know if I've ever worn this. Um, Cause just so, because of being afraid of getting it dirty, um, like if you were to have a pen on your hand and touch it, it would, if it would get it on there, it would be pretty hard to get back off. Um, if it was glossy, it wouldn't, but it's, since it's matte, it will get dirty very quickly. So I would not recommend this particular color in this model for everyday use, unless, unless you don't mind it getting very dirty. But, um, yeah. Take some close-up looks here at the inside. As you can see, it already got a little bit dirty there. And you can't, can't quite see it on here. Um, yeah. And um, what it would come in would be just... Um, your standard G-Shock case. This isn't the exact one I got it with. Actually, I didn't get it with one, but this is what it would come with. Just your standard, like, well, I don't know, what is this? Hexagon or Oxagon or whatever it is. Ten. So, yeah, that's basically it for the watch. Um, if you want to check out some of the G-Shock's other products, you can either go on their website or check out some of my other videos. Um, I have videos on almost every watch here i still have to get to a few but um yeah make sure to check those out as well as four beats videos i um sold two but i still have two left um and also some shoe reviews nike janoski mainly so yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe favorite do whatever you want see ya